You don't get this anywhere else. It is that time to find out what's going on for the culture and music and entertainment. And today, two things to talk about with you. It's been a minute since we've done for the culture, so keep you up on what's been happening. Shout out to T.I. Over the weekend, Easter Sunday, Mm -hmm. he teamed up with one of the members of Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, Scrap Deleon, and New Birth Missionary Baptist Church in Atlanta. They bailed out 23 men and women for nonviolent crime. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Shout out to, isn't that a beautiful thing beautiful, to do for the culture? Now, thing, remember we were talking the other week. I don't know if we were talking on air or off air. And I told you that Jamal Bryant was the new pastor. Mm-hmm. And I told you that they were going to have the fastest growing church again in Atlanta. And that's his church. And that's his church. Wow. wow. Jamal Bryant is the smartest pastor in America. Yeah, because it, it said that the, the money that T.I. did with Scrap, the church came and matched it and did I, a little bit I, more. I, we just had a conversation off air. I know what I'm talking about. And yeah. you come from the Atlanta area no somewhat doubt. a little bit. So. The no interesting doubt. thing about that is the fact that there's definitely a disparity between folks that got money and folks that don't have any money in the criminal justice system. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, bottom line is that making bail is a problem for us, man. Exactly. And when you are in jail and you put on those overalls mm-hmm. and then you go to court, you look different. You, you look you do. rather than coming in there with a suit on because you because you're you're arrested. You're not going through the stress of being in jail. And they've made, they've done studies where, you know, uh, judges and also juries take that into consideration. You start looking more like a criminal because because mm-hmm. you're you're tired and you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that's not good. So I'm and glad that he did that. Exactly, because people do get lost in the system when yep. you can't afford them. Exactly. There so, you go. Shout out to Ti Scrap Delion and Jamal Bryant no, no. over at New Missionary New Birth Missionary Baptist Church. Now, would you go check out a musical based on Destiny's Child? Nah. I think so. Nah, yeah. nah I'm good. <laughs> I'm all right with that. I appreciate your no, honesty. No, no, I like no. I, that's my girl. Kind of reminds now. me of something else that was going on. Drunk. <laughs> well, Matthew Knowles is still trying to cash in off of his group, Destiny's Child, that he formed with his daughter and yeah. her friends back in the day. It's going to Broadway. Okay. There is a musical. It's going to start and begin from the beginning of their success, the journey to the split. And I wonder if he's going to cover replacing the girls behind their back. Well, you like have that. to. You have to. You have to. No, I mean, that's what the whole drama. Now, I, I guess he was on Destiny's Child, that thing. He right? does. Yeah. It's, it's about the only thing he has, so he might as well cash in on that name. Yeah, he, and people will go see it. He says, this is his quote, I want to pull back the curtain. I feel it's oh. time to give the world an opportunity to hear, see, and feel the victories and failures, failures that this group experienced with me as the husband, father, manager of the group. I.e., I, I see my daughter doing big things, so it's time for me to cash in now. He, yep. This is the only way that I think Matthew knows can continue to make yeah. money. And and uh, for me, like I said, I, I would go see it because like now I'm wondering like who's going to play. See, like, I'll be looking now, the drama, who's going to play these girls? Who's going to play Moore. Beyonce? <laughs> <Chante> Moore. <Yeah. laughs> and Christopher Williams. And Christopher, Williams. <laughs> Christopher Williams ass, Matthew knows. The sure, Murdoch ass mama. <laughs> wow, she can't play Tina. She can't do Tina, though. It's nope. a play. <laughs> Anybody can play the Oh, we need some right. paint. <laughs> this title, Survivor, the Destiny's Child musical, Ooh. and told from his perspective. Nice. Oh, I'm waiting for a whole lot of lines. Yeah, so that's what's going on for the culture. And we're still talking about Netflix and chilling or sleeping and sure. how people interact during Netflix. It was a call. Kiss it in the mouth. 203-562-9430. <laughs> <laughs>